5,000 randomly selected undergrad students at UW were invited to participate in an online survey on campus safety sent out by SARS. 1,065 students responded. Yesterday morning, the Daily released some of the preliminary data analysis of the student questionnaire. We are highlighting only a small portion of these results to you tonight. It is easy and convenient to think of statistics as merely numbers. When you listen to the following, bear in mind that these are real human beings who study on our campus. Question. Since coming to the UW, has anyone by force or threat of harm attempted but did not succeed in making you have oral, vaginal, or anal sex? 53 female-bodied and 6 male-bodied UW undergrads have. Question. Since coming to the UW, has anyone by force or threat of harm made you have oral, vaginal, or anal sex? 37 female-bodied and 6 male-bodied UW undergraduates have. Question. Since becoming a UW student, how often, if ever, have any of your partners in a dating or romantic relationship done any of these behaviors? Through something that hit you, pushed, grabbed, or shoved you, or twisted your arm, slammed or held you against the wall, slapped, scratched, and or bit you, kicked you and or hit you with fists, or tried to choke you. 65 female-bodied and 34 male-bodied UW undergraduates have. that reminded me of the Milky Way, a swirling, sparkling ocean of a dress. Finals week was approaching, and I just wanted to lose myself in the sweat of the numbers. The house party was 20 blocks north, ran by a friend of a friend. I'm not much of a smoker, so when the blast of weed hit my face at the door, I decided to go to the neighboring house. Dubstep was playing, and there was a lot of people inside. It felt right to enter. I love Dubstep. <laughs> Three shots later, and I was swarming amongst the friendly strangers. I met a girl who had returned from study abroad, and she told me what it felt like to float on the Dead Sea, how the salt from the waves cradled one's body, how it felt like you were incapable of sinking. Dancing and drinking that night felt that way, like nothing could go wrong. I was so giddy, mentally congratulating myself on branching out and meeting new people that I happened to pick up a cup that wasn't mine. Filled with the concentration of alcohol, I couldn't decipher because I was swirling away, sipping at it. And it felt so good to sway amongst the sweaty reeds with the thumping bass. I stumbled backwards into a tall figure. If this guy were a fish, he would have been a stingray. His suit wrapped around me like a gray cape. I had to stand still for a bit. His arms felt like one of those rocks people use to fight off tsunamis. There were tsunamis in my eardrums and then one in my mouth. I was so thankful for his consideration in helping me out as he placed me on the bed. Part of the comforter cut my ears like seashells, and I could hear that the tide had quelled. But when he stung my chest, I grew numb. A darkness swam over my eyes at intervals, and it was only after I threw up on his leg that I had the presence of mind to realize that my mouth wasn't filled with salt. My dress whipped up my legs as I ran towards the quad. I hadn't even done that with my boyfriend. And we had talked about it, and I was planning on surprising him with it after finals. I felt cheated. The W arrangement of the cherry blossom trees felt like a double V branding my chest. Vodka victim, voiceless violence. The flags crawled viciously around me, all orange Vs stabbed by sticks. Every flag representing a woman who was sexually assaulted that year. I could feel their screaming chorus inside me. I was so angry! It was only after I threw up that I had a clear mind, as clear as the black sky. It's grainy bright salt scrubbing me wrong. 
equally sad part in the ordeal was that I was more worried about what my boyfriend would think than angry at the guy who forced me to have oral sex. But after a while, my boyfriend and I talked and ended up agreeing that there were many things that were neither of our faults. And that finding that guy and stringing him up by his dick in the quad wasn't worth our time, nor a prison sentence. He held my, ha my hand as the policewoman took down my statement, and I fell asleep to the dubstep of his chest. Over the next couple of days, we sat in the quad just staring at the sea of orange flags. But later one night, my boyfriend mentioned that he was going to join the Green Dot movement at UW. And what did I think? I thought it was a great idea, but that we should talk about it tomorrow. There is still one thing I've been meaning to try first. <laughs>